Hey everybody, today I got a video question and answer for the people that asked me about this thing. So the question that I get a few times is, can uh, can this thing fail? So what this thing is, if you see my other videos, it's a soft link, kind of like the grappler hitch for you old school school guys. So you lay your hammock strap through here, then you grab the loop and you just put the knot through the loop, and it's instantly connected. So, some people are like, well, can that not, can that light come through? Well, okay, it can fail. Anything can fail. But, this thing is based on a sailing knot that connects sails together and has 100 pound sails connected to it to where 50 and 30 mile an hour winds all day dynamic force. So, the likelihood of this failing is very low. And some, here are some, if you really want extra peace of mind, here is some recommended ways to set it up so you see there's a loop here and then there's a loop with the knot if you put the loop without the knot towards the tree and lay the strap over it that's the best way to set it up because as you probably notice when I pull my suspension line tight it closes these two strands around that knot so even if I did let's say I have my rope my suspension line over here pulling on these strands it's still highly unlikely that this knot would ever pull through however set it up like this and now there's no way it can pull through unless you physically come up here and lift the loop and pop the knot through so yeah I mean it could fail if the tree was struck by lightning and or something like that but it's highly unlikely to fail and I've never had it fail so I mean like anything can fail you know everyone everyone swears by these little bling clips right here I mean these can fail I mean the rope the rope could pop out through here just as easily you now plus it's digging into your tree with all that metal I mean, a lot of people will do the the carabiner carabiner on the end of the strap to make setup quicker and you know a carabiner can fail too I've seen pictures of these on the internet with this part broken I mean you can this can fail and plus again it's putting 90 degree metal edges up against your tree bark now, there's, there's lots of different ways that we accomplish this with metal hardware like here's a multi buckle that people use too to do a quick connect I mean that thing can fail if your webbing turns to the side too much you're done it pops out just like with the Dutch clip so yes it can fail but is it likely to ever fail unless you're under the most ridiculous extreme circumstances absolutely not I mean even if like I said before you want to put the loop against the tree for the best setup well what if I put the knot against the tree like, let's do it like that I mean, still, still, once you pull weight on it, there's no way it's coming apart. So it's not something that you should really concern yourself with failing. If you if you set it up right and look at what you're doing, this thing this thing will never fail. I mean, you can hook your pickup truck to it and and break the stitching and break the strap before it'll ever fail. And while I got this multi-buckle out, I'll show you guys a little cool thing. So, you guys may have heard of uh, the Dutchwear Gear Spider. And yes, I'm mentioning Dutchwear Gear in my video. And I'm only doing it because that's what most of you guys are familiar with. It's not to bash. So all you guys that are going to email me and, oh my god, you're bashing Dutchwear Gear. Just go drink some coffee. Chill out. So check it out. Here's the Spider. Or the spider here's the multi buckle so you can put the multi buckle on your strap like this okay now let's say you have a continuous loop on the end of your hammock take your continuous loop like this on the end of your hammock go around the multi buckle like this and back through the little opening and boom, you got an instant buckle that locks off. You see what it does? It pulls, 
it pulls the strap back in through there and tries to pull the strap through there while also wrapping it around that bar and this will suspend you and it'll also give you instant adjustment just pull pull on here to take the webbing to unwrap the webbing from that bar and then this will slide you don't even have to disconnect your hammock then as soon as you pull this tight pull the webbing back up in there and you got an instant locking buckle and yes I know that you can also do the same exact thing in another method you can lock this in position by pulling the strap up and putting the strap through here but if I had gloves on or it was cold out this would be irritating and yeah okay now I hook my hammock on there and it's locked but if I want to adjust it I got to come back up here I got to disconnect the hammock for one thing I don't have to disconnect the hammock with the other method and then I got to get the freaking webbing through here make the adjustment lock it back off and all that with this method you just go around it come back through you make your adjustments and then once you pull it it's locked off right that's it guys thanks for watching just uh just remember this thing is highly unlikely to fail and uh, compared to the other metal methods that we have beaners clips bling all that all that stuff this is easier on the tree and it's much less likely to fail thanks everybody